Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this zoom into eye transition effect in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so have a video in my project. Let me drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So let me show you what this video has got. There's this lady and you have her eyes here. So she's blinking her eye at this point here. So we'll be creating a transition to this greenery video. As soon as she blinks, you know, as soon as she blinks and opens her eyes. So in order to do that, I'll go to the point where the lady blinks her eye just around here. So make sure that she is, you know, the character is closing her eyes. So I'll, uh, I want the video to be cut at this point. So I'll go to the razor tool here and simply cut this video at this point. So as soon as she open her eyes wide open here at this frame, I'll go to like one second forward at this like just like this and cut my entire video just like this so what i'll do now is at the last frame of my video at this point i'll make sure that i'll click on this pen tool here for the second video at this point i'll click on this pen tool here and start masking her eye so i'll click here and create a mask just so that it covers the entire eye in order to have a clear idea let me zoom into 100 percent just so that it becomes much clear So now I'll click on this inverted button. I'll make sure that it is checked just so that it looks something like this. Click on this timer button here so that keyframes are enabled. And if you don't find your mask here, simply click on this mask just so that you can see it properly. I'll go three frames backward and adjust this mask in such a way that it fits perfectly. Let me fast forward this video. I'll move three frames backward and simply adjust just like this. So once the masking is done, you can see that this is how the eye opens up and we have a mask layer just like this. But you can notice that there's this little gap here that we can actually select our mask and tweak this value here tweak this node here or you can simply change the mask expansion to three just so that it expands a little and you can also feather this to around 20 just so that the outline is quite smooth so let me click on this and let me fit this to the screen if i start playing this this is how the eye opens up perfect so now let me move this eye video that we have just masked to the top one layer above and in order to have you know have this video inside this eye let me just drag this under this just like this let me remove the audio track just so that it looks clear and if i start playing the video this is how it's gonna open up so you can see that this greenery video is appearing inside this eye just like this all right so now we want this if i start if i continue playing this video this is how it's and it ends up but actually we want this to be zoomed in in such a way that it is appearing inside the eye so at this point what i'll do is i'll um, click on my masked eye layer here and click on this timer button for position and scale as well and i'll go to the last frame of this video of this 
eye mask and change the scale value to greater than 900 or 1000 1000 okay and I'll also tweak the position value in such a way that you know you can see that the eye is it looks as if it is zoomed in to the eye perfect so if I start playing the video this is how it zooms in perfect but the last thing that you want to do is simply add some blur as as soon as this you know zooms in so in order to, to, do, to do that click on this eye layer here go to the FX panel and type in directional blur and you have this directional blur effect and drag this onto your mask layer just like this so at this point uh, click on this timer button for both direction and blur length and uh, go to the last frame of this video and uh, change the blur length value to you know 40 also change the direction um, to 90 or 180 would do our job perfect so if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like you can see that there's this blur effect you know applied here as soon as it zooms in so this is how you make a you know zoom transition effect zoom into eye transition effect in a very easy way using Adobe Premiere Pro I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on Instagram at VFX Guy Ravi Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.